today we want to we want to actually look at uh, the weekly analysis of cable GBP USD. The first thing to do is to open the daily chart. Uh, I'm a long-term trader, so because of that, I always uh, visit the daily chart. And a very important chart because it shows uh, the most uh, dynamic trend for a particular in uh, particular currency pair. So we have our chart now. So the next thing is we have to determine the current trend. The current trend is 200 moving average EMA. That's exponential type. Now we come to the uh, insert here. That's our drop down menu for the indicators. We pick moving average. By default, I have 200. You can change the parameter if you like to so maybe 50 or whatever. But the specification for this analysis is that we should use 200. Okay, uh, it's already exponential. You can change it to any one that you want, but the specification here is exponential and then we use close so we have this uh, now the essence of the moving average is to determine the trend the current trend now we can see from here that the current trend is bearish yes the, the use of one of the conservative use conservative use of moving average is to determine the direction the, 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 the net direction of the market trend now you can see that the price is moving below the price is moving below the moving average so that is clear downtrend now what else next I'm going to do draw trend lines so on the same chart we have to draw the possible trend lines that we can have in the most recent time so this is it now we have a strong bullish trend line which has been holding for weeks. But now, at this point here, this point, we can see that the trend line has been broken. So the major trend line on the chart now is already broken. So that means that we are in an established down trend. And that again is in a collaboration with the 200 moving average because the price is moving below the trend line that's broken it and the price is also moving below the 200 moving average so that means we are in a strong downtrend now you see which important support has rejected the bearish campaign we are number four, which important support has rejected the bearish campaign. Now, after we have drawn our moving average and we've seen the direction of the trend, we drew the trend line, and we also see we, have, we can see that the trend line, which is the major one, which has been holding for, which has been holding for one, two, three, uh, for three months, and uh, it's in only in the fourth month that the the line breaks now which important which important support has rejected the Irish campaign now we know that the Irish movement the, 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 the ultimate goal of the Irish movement is to break through a support and the ultimate goal of or the essence of bullish movement is to break existing resistance now the question we have in number four and number five is that which important support has rejected the Irish campaign that is has prevented the BS from breaking through it and which resistance has rejected bullish trust that is bullish uh, bullish movement now if you look at the chart critically we know that this has been the first question is 
we see that this trend line broke and uh, the price also broke the 200 moving average strongly it should continue to move but we discover that it found opposition it encountered the sister i mean sorry uh, opposition at this point so we see that this is the support now that is offering resistance i mean that is op offering opposition to the bearish movement so this is uh 1.2615 so the price here is uh let me put a red let me use red to do that or i can use even blue okay one and the parameter 1.2615 is the support okay now the next thing is which resistance has prevented or assisted or rejected the bullish movement the bullish trust now you can see that the price attempted once as the price was falling it tested this support you know, this was a resistance a key level which has been break i mean that's been broken now it has turned support as price fell down to that support it encountered opposition so it could not break it so it bounced up away from it and price eventually closed above it so we have to say that this support has not been broken is an important support now we also saw that price found resistance here that is at the 200 moving EMA, moving average. So we pick this point as an important level, which the price is what? Uh, 28.17. So 1.2817 is an important resistance that has rejected the bullish trust. So this is what we have. So we can say now that the price is between a strong support which has rejected an established bearish movement and a resistance which did not give room, we did not give way to the price to break above it. So we say for now we are in a mixed trend. We are in a neutral zone. Okay, the price is here to decide the direction in which it will go eventually but with the break of this trend line the major trend line and the break of the 200 EMA I keep my uh, short position which I had uh, initiated earlier could see of this breakout and this uh, price action I'll keep my short position and um, with my trailing stop and stop loss above this uh, resistance level okay so the let me see the next we have answer number five and number six is to explain my decision okay my decision was based on trend line break on four hour so let's go to four hour chart time frame and see um this is the four time frame i drew a trend line on that before i place my order if i place my trade i drew the trend line that is joining swing low to the next higher swing low i join the swing low to this higher swing low so and this is a minor trend line a minor because we are we have uh, uh, the major trend line here now the minor trend line you can see that the trend line is broken again the bullish trend line is broken again here so the moment it breaks I place my trade so I have been bearish from this point okay I've been bearish from price 127 1.7 this was where I entered the market the trailing stop and I have not closed the position 
have not closed my train. Now, regardless of the fluctuation that we may have now. Now, my entry and exit prices, okay? I have entered the trade, just like what I said earlier, from this price, 1.2735, and I place my stop loss above this 28.17, which is the ultimate level for the bullish campaign. Now, I don't, in my practice, I don't usually set uh, take profit. I just use uh, a trailing stop. A trailing stop of 50 pips, at times I use 40 pips, but for this one, I am using 50 pips. But so well, in case you want to set stop loss, I mean, uh, take profit, then you use a lower, uh, you go to daily chart, daily time frame, and then you can pick this place as your uh, take profit. That is 23.65 can be your profit objective price. Okay. Um, again, let me say everything over again. What we did, we open our daily chart, and as we do that, we apply the 200 EMA moving average to confirm the trend and we found that the trend is bearish then we drill the trend line and we see that the trend line which is the major trend line here this major trend line we found that it has been broken so we wait for a signal on four hour to join that trend and I had a signal here so the trend line the minor trend line was broken so I placed my trade here now I have set my stop loss above this uh, resistance that rejected the bullish trust that did not allow price to go above it. So the price remained below this 200 moving average. So that means this is an important resistance to the, uh, any, any form of rise in price. So I said that you know, you can see this level, this key level, price bounced away from it the moment it kissed it, the moment it tested it. So it bounced up away from it. Now, despite all these actions, within this zone, now within this band, we are having a neutral situation. So, I um, will remain bearish because the major trend line has been broken and the 200 moving average has also been broken. Similarly, when we go down to the 4 hour chart, you see that another minor bullish trend line has been broken. So, these are the uh, reasons for me to hold my short position which I have opened earlier. Now, we will consider the market to be bullish the moment price closed above this resistance. Now, the price is already bearish. This does not confirm the bearish uh, phase, but rather it confirms momentum towards this level, uh, the low of this candle, which is 23.65. All right. I thank you so much for your time. Honestly, uh, I thank you for watching my video. You may please scroll through my channel and watch more videos. They are all painstakingly produced. And guess what? I am committed to making them better. Right? Uh, I would like you, to, I would appreciate it if you leave your comments and then subscribe. Thanks once again. I wish you all the best.